far whenever it is that you're listening to this. Um, for my Facebook Live viewers, um, you already know who I am, you appreciate, and I appreciate your comments and your likes and your shares. For those who are listening for the very first time on Public House Media, I welcome you to the first to the live network and secondly to this podcast. I am thrilled to have you here and I hope that you tell your friends about us. And if you are here on my Facebook page, I encourage you to do the same. Um, my name is Kim Meyer. I'm the founder of Choose to Rise Up and I am here today to share with you what I hope is an inspirational message, something to help you take action, to believe in yourself, to create your, um, hit your goals and to be inspired by, um, to be your very best. Um, I'm inspired daily by listening to personal development and reading uplifting content and engaging with people that help that have chosen me to help them become better physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally and nutritionally and all that kind of stuff. I'm just here to help you be your very best self. And so um, let's kind of get started. So you have to, the topic for today is you have to be willing to die to who you are today to give birth to who you want to become or who you can become better yet, right? The creative process in our world is about um, being, doing, and then having. So that's that's how it all works. And we really struggle in the do section. We just do, 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 do. We get caught up in the grind. We get caught up in the everyday actions of how we move forward. And um, we we forget to let go of the stuff that we have always had. We keep, just keep adding to our plates. We keep moving forward with all the stuff, all the baggage, all the negative thoughts, the negative feelings, the things that have been said about us, the things that have been said to us, about uh, against us. Um, and we try to carry all of that on our shoulders or on our backs and we get tired and we, we quit. We move, we just get stuck in who we are and we just, we just are, we just be. Um, and then we get, we get excited again and we start doing, 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 but we forget again to let go of things. And so what you really have to decide to do if you want to move forward and become something different, you have to let go of the stuff that has been holding you back. You have to um, be like a duck and let it just slide off, right? Let go of the past and be who you're intended to be and do more with your life so that you can have the destiny that God has placed before you. Um, when you let go of what you've been in the past, you can do more with your future. And it, well, yesterday ended at midnight. This is a quote that I got from John Maxwell the other day and I just kind of really hung on to it. Um, yesterday ended at midnight. Today is a new day, a fresh start. And hey, it's even a Monday. So it's a fresh start to the week. It's the last day of the month. Tomorrow's the beginning of a new month. A fresh start to that too. So I highly encourage you to set your intentions for the week. Don't let um, what's happened in the past, don't let the huge goals that you have in your future, don't have to focus on the huge things. You can fo focus on the small things. All right. Yesterday we talked about um, laying one brick at a time, just being very good at setting that one brick, focusing on the small tasks in front of you, taking simple steps forward, putting one foot forward at a time, taking that little bit every single day. There's a million ways I can say it, but really it's just about getting closer and closer to your goals. Yesterday um, is in the past, today is right now, and tomorrow is your future. And if you look at today and you focus on what you can take, the small steps today, when you get to the, into the future, you'll be able to look back and see how far you've come. And that's the amazing part. You know, I started this journey um, of becoming a help, healthier, happier version of myself two and a half years ago. I can't even believe how long it's been um, already. It just feels like like yesterday I got started because I'm always constantly trying to be the beginner in my life. I'm always trying to be um, in the now, in the moment and stretching myself five more feet out of my comfort zone. And so I do that with personal development. I do that with engaging with positive people. I do that with um, always trying to set new goals, go a little bit farther. And so it's been um, said before, you know, like if you go for a walk with someone and I was, I've been walking with lots of people. I've got long legs. I, I tend to go far really fast. Um, and when I go walking with people, there's, you know, there's two things, you know, you can, um, you can match the person's speed that you're walking with, or you can, they can match the speed that you're walking. And so I encourage you, like, what, how are you? What's, whose pace are you walking? What what pace have you start, decided to move forward with? Are you choosing to um, go at somebody else's pace, a slower pace because you're comfortable there, because they're comfortable there, and then you're kind of with them? Or are you moving at your own pace? Are you moving forward to match somebody that's faster than you so that you can reach your goals and go there quicker? Um, 
the smallest, if they've also been kind of said, if you're the smartest person in the room, you need to find a new room. You need to find a new place to be challenging to you. Changing yourself is going to take, um, take a chance. You have to get outside of your comfort zone. You have to choose to rise up and be better every single day. It's a choice. It's a decision that you make every single day. Like I said, yesterday ended at midnight. Today is a new day. Start fresh, move forward. The only thing in your way is you. When you decide to make a change, let go of the past, step forward in the future, you're going to find Find your greatness that is buried deep inside of you. God has given you a gift and it's our potential. The gift buried deep down inside of us. It's in our soul. It's in our heart. It's inside of us. Our gift to God is to find that potential, to dig deep, to look forward, and to use it to be bless this world, to become the very best person that he's made us to be. And in order to do that, we must step outside of our comfort zone. We must trust him. We must trust ourselves. We must trust the people around us and be willing to die to who we are today, to give birth to who we want to become. So I believe in you. We believe in you as a whole united. And we we, and so I'm asking you the question today. Do you believe in yourself? Are you willing and ready to step forward into your greatness? Are you willing and ready to rise up out of your past, letting go of everything that's been around you and get forward and move best? Today, my shirt says rise and grind, right? Because um, it's one of the amazing things that you get to do every single day. If you woke up this morning, if you got to step outside, if you got to go to a job, if you got to hug a loved one, you are blessed and you need to take the opportunity that God's given you today and go out and and encourage others to be your very best self and to become who he has created you to be. So that's my message for you today. I hope that you like, comment, share this video if it's something that, um, or, or podcast, if it's something that you uh, felt inspired by today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I hope you have a wonderful, amazing, amazing day.